Well, that looks about right. Let's get into the rudder. There's a lot uh, to unpack in this video. I'm gonna to try to go as fast as I can. Uh, I basically, I've done the setup, and then I'm gonna start my cutting real soon. And the jig was already done by Earl. Uh, lives pretty close to me. He's underway on his build, and he loaned me his jig. So there's some main pieces to the rudder. They're all right here. Um, there's just the top piece, the bottom piece, the leading edge, a mid uh, section, if you will, uh, like a kind of like a spar, and then the trailing edge over there. Now you'll notice that here's the leading edge, the spar, and then the trailing edge here. I've got these strips of wood, and what they are is the rudder tapers down as it goes from leading edge to the trailing edge ever so slightly. This piece of wood is one inch square. That's going to get two rabbits in it um, to hold the gussets. And the main spar in the center does not. The ribs go around that. The trailing edge will have two rabbits in it to accommodate the gussets. And as you can see, this I said this is one inch square. This is only three quarters inch thick. And th this back here is actually only five eighth inch thick, and then it's going to get some rabbits in it. And then we're going to we're going to um, sand in a nice curve at the trailing edge. So to keep the centers of all those pieces in line, you have to shim this main spar that runs the vertical spar, if you will, and then the trailing edge. So we're going to put the one inch piece in the jig. Okay, like this, goes right in. And you'll see a mark, that's the half inch mark. That's fine, that's where it's gonna be. But, because this is three quarters of an inch, you have a quarter inch to, to deal with, you divide that by two, you get one eighth of an inch, and that is how much you have to elevate this piece to keep the center in the center. All right, so that is there. Then there's another shim here, and because this piece is only 5 eighths of an inch thick, again, you have to elevate this piece of wood with a shim, which I custom cut on the table saw, uh, underneath it, and then you will get a nice fit. And you, what you're gonna get is you'll see that the half inch marks of all of these are halfway or are at a half inch, excuse me, at a half inch. Oop. Okay, so this is now elevated enough to keep all the center lines in center. Now, the bottom piece, just cut and mark the center. That'll be cut to fit. This will be cut flush. This piece will extend from the front to the back. Same likewise here, this will be cut, excuse me, here. And then the top piece will be uh, cut and will go in front to back. And then it's a matter of uh, cutting in the rabbits, uh, building a taper, because this has to taper down too as well and be shimmed appropriately along the, the piece here. With just a little more work, and then it'll be ready for glue up. So I hope that explains it well. Um, I have a pretty good idea how this is gonna go together. Years of building RC airplanes and looking at these plants, it's not too difficult. It's just a matter of taking your time. You do not have any extra wood. You cannot screw this up. If you, unless you learn more, Aircraft Spruce sends you exactly what you need to make this happen. And if you screw it up, you screwed it up. And you gotta go back and order some more wood. So we'll cut the, so what I'll do is I'm gonna cut, like I said, I'm just gonna start cutting, how about that?
so I got my rabbets cut into the leading edge of the rudder and the trailing edge of the rudder. Uh, what we're going to do now is we're going to cut the top piece of the rudder and the bottom piece to fit on these angles right here, here and there, both the top and the bottom. And what we're going to do, fairly quite simple, to get that angle uh, onto this piece, get yourself something like this, okay? And all I did was lay that part there flat. Excuse me, I want this uh, this direction. And boom, I'm going to get my angle right here. And all I have to do is then take that and transcribe it onto there. And I get that. And so now that angle is known. I'm going to cut that on the bandsaw and cut the back end, okay? Uh, get that angle, cut it. I'm gonna overcut it though, because I'm gonna sand that down to shape so it fits in perfectly and snug. So the top piece has been cut and put in the jig. Um, I still have some rabbits to cut out of it, some tapering to do, but I'm pretty happy with it and how it came out. Um, the net, you know, the gussets go on here, and that's where the, this thing really picks its strength up is from the gussets, from my, my reading and research. The next, we're gonna do the bottom piece here. Cut out the uh, the angles to fit it into the jig, and then we're gonna cut out. Uh, we're gonna taper it appropriately, and then we're gonna cut the uh, spar here to fit in. Once I have the bottom piece cut, then I could cut that one. <laughs> 